given how to simplify this nice algebraic expression so if we have a 6 to the power of 7 minus 6 so we can write this algebraic expression into the simplified form uh, so here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem it means that we will show all of the working on this paper so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to break the exponent of this term so you see here the exponent is 7 uh, and we write it as 6 to the power of 1 plus 6 and minus this is over 6 uh, and here further uh, we can apply here this exponent law if we have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law we, we can just break this exponent and it will be written as 6 to the power 1 multiplied by 6 to the power of 6 minus this is again over 6 uh, and now here uh, we need to take common uh, 6 from here and it will be written as uh, uh, 6 to the power of 6 so we can break again this 6 as 6 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 we know that 3 2s are 6 so here when we take on this 6 we will get here minus 1 and now we can apply here this exponent law if you have a to the power of m multiplied by n we write it as a to the power of m to the power of n so according to this exponent law here we need to move this 3 inside the term and it will be written as 6 times of 6 cubed and its whole square minus this is 1 uh, and here uh, we need to find first uh, the value of 6 cubed and here uh, you know about the meaning of uh, 6 cubed uh, so here first we can write uh, this 1 as uh, 1 square and now we can apply here this algebraic formula if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b according to this formula we will write our above expression as 6 times of uh, 6 cubed minus 1 into 6 cubed plus 1 so now here our target is to find the value of 6 cubed and you know about uh, the meaning of 6 cubed uh, and you know that uh, 6 cubed means that we will just multiply 6 with 3 times uh, so in this way 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 you see here 6 6 are 36 36 times of 6 becomes here 216 it means that uh, the value of 6 cubed equals to 216 so we will replace this value on both of these terms uh, so after replacing this value to the above equation it will be written as uh, 6 times of uh, 216 minus 1 into 216 plus 1 so because here calculator is not allowed in this problem for this we will do all of these steps okay so that we can solve this problem step by step uh, and now here in the next step we have this is 6 times of 216 minus 1 uh, equals to 215 and 216 plus 1 equals to 217 so now in the next step uh, we need to first multiply these two terms so here we rewrite it as 215 into we can break this value and it will be written as 200 plus 10 plus 7 so first we multiply this 215 on each of these value and it will be written as 6 is multiplied by uh, here we can write it as 215 multiplied by 200 plus 215 multiplied by 10 plus 215 multiplied by 7 so here we need to do all of these multiplications without using the calculator so here you see that uh, i can just do all of the multiplications in our mind without using the calculator or any calculation so here you can see that this is our one digit number and this is our three digit number so when you can multiply this zero with this complete number we will get zero when you multiply this zero with complete number we again get 0 when you multiply this 2 with this number you get here 2 5s are 10 we write 0 and carry 1 2 1s are 2 2 plus 1 is 3 and this is 2 terms of 2 is 4 it means that 215 multiplied by 2000 equals to uh, 43000 plus here you have uh, 215 multiplied by 10 equals to 2150 plus 
Now here we need to multiply 7 with this value. So you see here 7 5 is a 35. We write 5 and carry 3. 7 1 is a 7. 7 plus 3 becomes 10. We write 0 and carry 1. 7 2 is a 14. 14 plus 1 becomes here 15. And now in the next step we need to add all of these values so you see here we will add all of these values in our, in our mind without using any calculation you see here this is 0 plus 0 plus 5 equals to 5 this 0 plus 5 becomes 5 5 plus 0 becomes here 5 this 0 plus 1 becomes 1 and 1 plus 5 becomes here 6 this 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 becomes here 6 and here we get only 4 so we will write it here. And now in the next step we need to multiply this 6 with this value. So that now in the next step we can just multiply this 6 with this complete number. So here we will write this term as here. So first we can write this 4 double 6 double 5 multiplied by 6. And now uh, here we can first multiply this 6 with 5. So you see here 6 5 is a 30. We write 0 and carry 3. 6 5 is a 30. 30 plus 3 becomes 33. We write 3 and carry 3. 6 6 is a 36. 36 plus 3 becomes 39. We write 9 and carry 3. 6 6 is a 36. 36 plus 3 again becomes 39. We write 9 and carry again 3. So here 6 4s are 24. 24 plus 3 becomes here 27. So uh, uh, finally uh, we have uh, the final simplified form of our given question is that 6 to the power of 7 minus 6 equals to 2, 7, double 9 and 3, 0. So this is the our final simplified form of the given question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.